welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing a declutter video and these are things that I get excited to do but also like a little anxious on my own part because I'm like, is it time? Should I just remove it from my collection? Because it's that dramatic in my head. In my head, it's a big deal. But the reality is, is if I'm not using something, I have a tiny house beauty space, legit tiny house, the Kindy CN HGTV if you're new here. So it's kind of like don't hoard things that could bring other people joy. Um, I know a lot of people are just now discovering Marie Kondo from the new Netflix series that went out. And if you're unfamiliar what I'm talking about, there is a woman who is known for the art of tidying up and that was one of the big ways we went tiny when we were going into our tiny house was we started doing the Marie Kondo method about a year ago like last January we did the get chucked challenge where every day of the month we would like get rid of one thing on the first two things on the second three things on the third you get the idea um, and the Marie Kondo method really helped us to remember what would spark joy like when I hold something whether it's clothing a piece of makeup something in your home does it spark joy do you use it would it be beneficial to pass it on because it's already served its purpose that type thing I try to keep that mindset and be a little less personal slash emotional about makeup which sounds silly if you are not a makeup lover I totally get that but some of this makeup is something that I do feel some type of some type of affinity for whether it's because you guys have said I love it please keep trying it or if it's something that at one point made me excited and now maybe that's how it served its purpose so let's jump into this video if you are new to my channel hi new friend i hope you take a quick moment and hit that subscribe button down below to see all of the fun loud weird unique videos i put out every single week some of the makeup in front of me is from boxycharm and that's where i get a little emotion about it because we've talked about it i've reviewed it you've given me your thoughts your ideas how you love it how you hate it it's a little bit of an emotional roller coaster really the first thing i want to talk about i actually forgot i owned it it's been sitting in the bottom of one of my drawers that just hoards my stuff that I don't use. Um, this is my Cover FX Illuminating Setting Spray. So many of you guys have talked me through this on my channel, which is why this one's a little emotional for me because I tried to make it work. I would shake it. There it is. You got to hear the, the, the little boggle in there. You got to hear it go. I I used it on my face and it would just leave flecks all over my face like little huge spots that made me look like I was a CGI character filming a movie that was just like you know what I mean like eh, a little crazy um, so I didn't like that I tried it over the summer to kind of like just be for the body for a little bit of mist but again I got a bunch of glow oil over the summer that would be way better for things than that honestly I just don't use it it doesn't bring me joy and I know some people that love a good sparkle that their skin isn't oily so they would probably reach for this far more than I do so why not pass on the love you know I forgot it was in my drawer so that doesn't bode well for thinking that I ever wanted to use it again after a while Thing I bought with my own dollars even within the past quarter of the year I'm so disappointed that I'm already decluttering it it just didn't work well for me and it actually helped me to talk about it on camera with you guys because you let me know what was going on behind the scenes with this and that you said guy this this is discontinued for a reason this is the Becca shimmering skin perfector in Prosecco pop this is a cream and I didn't know it was a cream it was like the perfect size to be just a little powder highlighter a couple of years ago was it a year ago it was a minute ago that box charm gave us a Becca highlighter and I was the unfortunate oily skin girl that got the liquid really hoping for the powder so I saw this in like a Marshalls or something and you couldn't open it you couldn't take it out of the box I thought it was the powder it's a cream and the consistency on it is so patchy and clumpy and gross and when I mentioned this in a previous video last year you guys let me know this was discontinued by the company because the formula and it's probably expired because it has like a short shelf life too yeah six months so I don't know how long the set on the shelf then went to Marshall's then I purchased it then I tried it I I wanted it to work I really really did I'm pretty sad about this one actually because I spent my own dollars on it but it's just not good so there's no point in keeping it in my collection just for the fun little packaging to say I have something cute from Becca when it's not cute not cute. Another highlighter that I bought myself from like a Marshall situation was a Lorac product. I had I got two Lorac products the same day. One of them was an amazing illuminating blush that I like. Believe it or not, I like and I use it a lot a lot. But something else that I got, and it's from the I Love Brunch collection, is the Lorac Limelight Illuminating Highlighter. This is a blue highlighter that isn't bad. I, it's just and it's got a good lifespan. It's got 18 months, so it's not even like this is bad. I just don't 
ever use this, to be honest with you. I did get the Naked Cosmetics uh, highlighting palette from BoxyCharm that has a blue in it that I have actually reached for more than this. I don't even think to use this. So it's not that this is bad, it's just that I don't use it and my highlighter collection is insane for living in a tiny house, having the space that I have, so there's no sense in keeping something that I'm not using. I'm going to be passing this on to some ladies at my husband's work that are highlighter fanatics that probably just can't throw their dollars at a Lorac product, so I'm happy to gift this away. But it still brought joy to me. Like, it served its purpose for me of buying it, getting excited for it, trying it for my channel, and then realizing, mm, I have something better, and that's okay. This is something I got from BoxyCharm, and it really helped an oily-skinned girl out back in the day before I really understood everything that I know now about makeup. This is the Ofra Pressed Powder Oil Control. I have almost decluttered this probably six times in my life because I wanted it to be what my essence all about matte fixing powder is and it's just not. This has such a white cast to it. I mean, I'll even do a fresh finger. Like, it, it doesn't take much. You have a huge white cast. Yeah, it'll kind of help with oil, but not, not as well as some other inexpensive things that I could that I do own. So honestly, this is probably even trash because there's no expiration date on it, but I think I got this over two years ago now because when I first got it, I raved about it on my channel because I was like, oh my gosh, something for us oily skin girls, amazing. I can't wait to use this. And over the summer I was trying it and I just didn't understand that I was like, there's this so much white cast. Like what, what's wrong with your makeup now? It's this, I need to get rid of it but I appreciate the story behind it. I don't remember where I got these products. I mean, they're Bare Minerals products, but I don't remember the story behind them. I have two loose shadows here. They're pigments. Um, one is a Bare Minerals in the shade Starfish that I really, really liked. And this is before I had a lot of makeup in my collection. So I was like, oh, a loose powder. That's exciting for my eyes. Awesome. Same with this one over here. This is in the shade Bubbly. So it's got some sparkles and it's pinky. I don't wear a lot of pink anymore. So it's just something that just keeps getting moved around in my eyeshadow palette drawer that I don't use. So I may as well get rid of it. And I honestly don't know how old they are because like I said, I can't remember how long they've been in my collection. So that's a little dangerous. The last three things in front of me are eyeshadow palettes and I am like putting them off for last because I'm like, are you going to do it? Do you have the guts to do it? I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I bought this, uh, again, in the fourth quarter of last year. So I probably bought this in September or October because I was wanting a drugstore eyeshadow palette and I wanted it from the drugstore or like a Target or something. And I just was struggling to find anything good to purchase to review because the, I mean, the drugstore isn't really known for a lot of their amazing eyeshadow palettes. Um, but I got something from NYX because it spoke to me. I liked the colors. I like a good color collection. This is the Love You So Moki eyeshadow palette. And this is is a lot of different pressed pigments. These have eyeshadows that are more like the ombres and stuff. I mean, they're cool. I just never reach for this. I mean, it's so fun looking though that I kept thinking, oh, I'll use it for this. I'll use it for that. I have actually used this like as like little bitty flex in the corner or under the eye, but whenever I've tried to put it on my lid, it didn't last. It didn't stay. And it was honestly underwhelming as far as the color went on my eye. In the pan, it looks beautiful, but you'd have to press and press and press. And it just wasn't doing the job that I wanted it to do. It was so frustrating. So I think, I think this just isn't for someone who is an advanced makeup person who has tried a lot of different pigments. I think this is going to have to be passed on to someone else who maybe just kind of dapples in makeup or maybe has a teenager that would like some just fun colors. I wanted this to work so bad though. I have two eyeshadow palettes left in front of me and one of them is an eyeshadow palette that is from BoxyCharm that I'm just like hesitating to talk about. And the other one is a YouTube OG. This was the palette everyone wanted on YouTube. It like started the eyeshadow palette category. It just was a huge deal when this was, this was so popular. <sighs> Let's start with that one. This is the Naked 3 palette. And my, yeah, I'm being dramatic. I know, I can't help it. This is the Naked 3 Urban Decay palette that I talked about this last year and my products that I could see pan on. Hmm, here's the brush. Um, and you can see pan on it because I did use it a lot when I got it. Rose Gold was like the theme of what, 2012, 2013? I mean, I got this for Christmas. I really, really wanted it. Trying to tell my dad, Dad, I want Urban Decay for Christmas. He's like, what the heck's an Urban Decay? 
You want to decay? He didn't get it. I don't get the name either, but whatever. Um, I just don't use it. I've even challenged myself in 2018 to use it, and I didn't. Uh, I would reach into it a little bit. I mean, there's clearly some deep divots. I've hit pan up here. This was well loved at one point. Yesterday, I tried to pop back into Blackheart when I like was trying to decide if I wanted to declutter it, and it was starting to get patchy. How old is this? Like, let me see. Oh gosh, this is only good for 12 months, and I think I got this three years ago for Christmas. It's kind of embarrassing. We've all done that, oh, right? I mean, I'm not the only one who's done that in the past where you're like, I love something so much, it's nostalgic. I have a moment, I can't get rid of it. I'm gonna try to keep using it. Or you did keep using it past expiration, because mm, I mean, I'm sure it's really more like 12 plus, but still, it's been about three years. I don't think I've properly used this in probably two years, so it's, it's just time and I don't want to talk about it anymore or I'll cry. The BoxyCharm eyeshadow palette won't come as a shock to a lot of you because I know a lot of you said this just wasn't your jam. You got rid of it really early on or you couldn't make it work or you only liked some of it and I'm in that same boat. This is the Masquerade palette from Pure. We got it from BoxyCharm. We had so many amazing palettes in 2018. I can't be mad. I can't, I can't be too mad at myself for holding it up to such a high standard because we had some great products last year. Um, this one has so much fallout. I love the gem stone shades in here. And that's why my heart hurts because I tried so hard to make these work, but the fallout's crazy. And I was looking through my collection as I was going through my makeup yesterday to pull these out to decide what was I decluttering. And I was like, I don't have a purple like this. I don't think I have a blue just like this. And I may not, but these, they're so chunky. Maybe my goal for the end of this year will be to have more in my collection that brings me joy of colors like these but like these aren't these aren't very impressive this purple's not very pigmented I think I said in the other video that I've done recently it took me like five times plus a glitter glue to get it to the opacity that I wanted the blue's really chunky this black one here is like falling off my hand it's like really messy there's a lot of fallout on my eyes with it even the silver color that I really had high hopes for, the exposed shade, needed five layers just to even compete with what I wanted. The face products I don't really reach for because this is like, this would be good for travel, but I traveled a lot towards the end of the year because of the face products and the eye products. I didn't take it with me once for the face products or the eyeshadow products. That says something. I don't reach for it. It doesn't bring me joy. I just think of the aggravation behind it. So that's why I just need to let this go and accept the fact that BoxyCharm can't always hit it out of the park. They just don't and that's okay. It happens. Pure, I blame you. Oh, this was a struggle. Declutters are always so hard for me, but it cleanses me too. And I hope this helps you guys to realize you don't need to keep everything in your collection just because you have it or just because you're like, I feel guilty about not using it. There are always people out there that would really appreciate makeup that maybe you don't love anymore or check the expiration dates because we don't need all kinds of nastiness on our face, you know. It's also fun to just kind of like have more room in your beauty space, have some organization, and maybe even some room for new makeup. I hope this helped you guys out. Thank you so much for watching. And if you happen to be new to my crazy little channel, hi new friend, I hope you take a quick moment to hit that subscribe button down below to see all of the fun, loud, weird, unique videos I put out every single week. Bye friends.